What is going on, Adventure Nation? Today we look like we're doing more than, we look like we're going skiing more than we're going boating, but we're actually going boating. Yeah. This is the motorhome experiment. What are you talking about? He's wearing a bathing suit. Well, I'm wearing, I'm wearing a bathing suit, but Laura looks like she's going skiing in Seattle. Kevin, he looks like he's going hiking, going hiking in Seattle. And you look like, I don't know. Like a homeless person. You look kind of homeless you're wearing. Yes, I was just trying to go flip for Flip-flops and she's just trying to be warm. Today is our last day in camp land. It's not our last day in San Diego, it's our last day in camp land. But we are going to go boating. We were supposed to do this yesterday afternoon, but Mother Nature wasn't playing nice and had scheduled some 20 mile an hour winds for us. That wouldn't have been any fun. So the young guy said he'd come in early for us today if we wanted to do that before checkout. So off we go. great day to go boating. It's Friday the 13th. We had all this stuff to read this morning. Kevin read all of his. Just basic stuff. Because if you die, you're still responsible for everything. Oh no, we, we read it all, right? That's awesome. See, and over there, they're preparing our boat. They started out on their three hour tour. <laughs> three hour tour. <laughs> that was the last time they saw the dock. Mission Bay is a beautiful bay. Some great boating opportunities. I think more along the lines, this would be cool for sailing and stuff. It's a lot of five mile an hour areas. There is some high speed area, but for the most part, it's just a cruising spot, but absolutely beautiful out here. Today, the water is super calm. Really good area for paddle boarding, kayaking, stuff like that. And our boating is over. Coming back into the marina now. I haven't done this in a long time, this should be fun. Everybody have a good time? Yeah, yeah. we made it safe and sound. Huh. Yeah, you were out there before it got too crowded. Did it we bring it sucked. back in one piece, Steve? You, you did. All right, cool. It always sucks, though, when I I think it's in one piece. It's like, and you guys are good to go. Oh, wait, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, Lorena, you're back safe. How was your journey on the boat? 
it was cool just to see all the bay and everything from the water. Does that mean we can get a boat now? Uh, no, RV or boat. Hmm? RV or Let's boat. Let's sell the RV and get a boat. Oh, no, I'm not talking for living in the boat. Oh, okay. This is a leisure thing to do. Oh, okay. Check out the paint on that four travel there. Yeah. That's, awesome. that's a that's an awesome paint job. Pretty cool. Oh, it's super shiny. Very shiny. Good job. All right, we are rolling out of Camp Land by the Bay here in Mission Bay or Mission Beach, North San Diego, whatever you want to call it. And they're having a vintage RV deal that here this weekend. Some amazing RVs that you probably saw in the last video, but I was just talking to someone and they said they do this up in Pismo every year, but someone started one down here and it's called Pismo South. Why they didn't just call it San Diego RV vintage thing, I don't know, but they didn't. <laughs> so it's Pismo South and it's all a bunch of vintage RVs, absolutely beautiful restored, some of them, and some of them are just like, look like they did back then. So very, very cool. And they're here all weekend. So. I don't know how you find out information. Maybe Google Pismo South. Look at that oh, van. Yeah, that's right. yeah. So some really cool vintage stuff. So not only vintage uh, RVs, but also sometimes pulled by uh, these hot rods, these classic cars. Yeah, cars, trucks, motorcycles, uh, so bicycles. Cool. Pretty cool. Camp Land by the Bay is a weird RV park. It is. It's like a mixed feelings because Here's the thing, amenities, nice pool, heated pools, and the hot tubs, two large hot tubs. So uh, in front of the beach, all this cool stuff, right? But the campground itself, the campsite, eh, not so nice. Like everybody's on top of everybody, pretty much. But I, I concur with what Lorena said. There's parts of the park that are absolutely spectacular. And there's parts of the park that you're like, why isn't it as spectacular as the rest of the park? It's kind of like, well, we're kind of sort of getting it close, but not really. Now, I think they were coming out of what's their off season, which is winter, which I would think San Diego would be their on season, but it's really not. And so as we were getting ready to leave, they were raking stuff, they were cutting weeds, they were relining some of the sites. So I'm assuming that they're now getting ready and we might have caught them just in the the brink of their off season. I don't know. I thought their peak season will be a winter because no birds, but it's not actually, it's a slow season. The peak season is the summertime here. Yep. We have arrived here at Pio Pico. Just getting set up. Still have to hook up water and electric yet. We're in a water electric only site right now because we're only here for four days, so it doesn't matter. But all set up. Nice. Kevin is nice and close to us. Yeah, uh oh, I think we're gonna have a thousand trails moment here together with, with so, Kevin. This right. is what a normal handle looks like. Yeah. Right here, right? right? This is what a broken handle looks like. Instead of just replacing the handle, let's put two of those on there and it's like I'm full blast mode. So you can't do anything with it. See, you guys think I like freak out about Thousand Trails. That... It's not freaking me out. I'm just like, no. it's cheaper probably just to get this little screw handle, but they decided not to do that. Well, yeah, but they could have just bought another one of these at Home Depot for about a buck and a half. And and just see, but they fixed paid six dollars for this. Yes. The middle yes. one. Awesome. Oh, and here you gotta see my. Uh, this makes it feel good. Oh wait, and then the electric. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks nice, that looks nice, awesome nice. there. Yeah. yeah. Looks great. Come on, guys. But I am getting 100 exactly 120 volts. Wow, 120 120 that's, volts. That's I awesome. Get, I never get that. Yeah. Cool. Usually 118. 118 is normally a number. Yeah, that's what we were having over it's at. That's uh, a number. Yeah, that's the sometimes. number. Not all That's what we were getting over at Camp Land, was about 118. I'm just saying 
Yeah. yeah. It is a number. Yeah. yeah. It is a number. Sometimes. It is sometimes. sometimes. Not, but, but usually. When I asked you for a letter and you say 118, that's wrong. That's wrong. Right. I got work to do. Uh, I'll be back in an hour. Then you'll have your solar on the roof. Probably. All right. Cool. <laughs> Ozzy, what do you think? Good day, everybody. We are at Pio Pico just outside of San Diego. I'm not gonna give you northwest, southeast. I seem to have been screwing that up a lot of the last few videos. Actually, it's almost due east of San Diego. The last couple of videos, I've been saying that we were northwest of San Diego. We were actually northeast. Northwest would put us in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Northeast puts us in the middle of the Anza Borrega State Park. So now that we got that out of the way, we're heading over to the Chili Cook-Off and Hot Rod Show here at uh, Pio Pico. You ready? Yep. Let's do it. They've got a tiny home here. Lorraine and I are about to go in and take a look. Oh. All right, let's check this thing out. This what is do you got? 134 square foot. It's actually for sale for 25, well, $24,500. Let's close the door. Like this is your sitting area right here. Sits two. Cool, and then it flips yeah. open forward. All right. Look at that. That's pretty creative. Your workspace. Yeah. Looks and a little tight in there, but it it's tight. workable. And over there. And then you've got oh, your so you need to get that. you've got your kitchen over here. Sink. Three burner stove. Works good. Right here is your closet, like where the door is. Like plenty of space there, and then the button too. Cool. And then you have upstairs. That's some storage space up here, and that's also your bedroom. Climb up, and plenty of space up in there. Cool. I don't think we'll be doing one of these anytime soon, but pretty good option for a small living. You've got your, looks like a composting toilet, which is cool. Over here in your shower. Decent amount of space in there. Let me see, I must be going the wrong way here. How do you go in the shower, Laura? You just go in through the center? Through the center. There's like a tiny, teeny tub at the bottom. It looks more like a sink. Like. Right. And then you just close it up. Cool. Composting toilet. That's a different brand. From it's a different one, yeah. I, I don't know what that is, whether that's the Thedford or what that is, but oh, pretty cool. Oh, you're good. Come on in. Well, that was kind of cool, just wandering around the car show. It's a car show and chili cook-off. Of course, as you guys know, chili cook-off doesn't do us any good. 
but uh, was a huge turnout here. So kind of kind of cool and a lot of really neat and it cars. Was right here in Thousand Trails. I mean, I guess we didn't say that. It's like it was right here in the park. Right, it is trails. right in the campground. So we just had to ride across the street from where we're standing. So it was kind of cool. Yep. Let's head over. A lot of this weekend has just been hanging out here at Pio Pico. Actually, not hanging out. We've been getting the solar done. The inverter charger is installed. All of our 12 volt stuff is upgraded. The inverter is working. So if we're boondocking, we'll at least have the ability to do 12 volt to 120, which is nice. Plug your and laptops without having to run generators or use the microwave for a little bit. Yeah, TV, like that. all that kind of stuff we can use now without having to fire up the generator. So that's nice. The only thing left is the solar. So, uh, have to run into town right now and grab a piece of wood so that I can mount the solar controller somewhere. I thought I had enough room to mount it, but no. So off to town we go. Yeah, the campground kind of looks like a war zone or at like least our site. stuff everywhere. Well, the entire campground does, but our site looks like a war zone <laughs> because we are finishing up the solar and power upgrade. Actually, the power upgrade is done. Yes. And we'll touch base on that and update you guys on that in the next video or two yeah. and we're just finishing up the last bit of the solar so that's cool but that's uh, where we're going to call this one yeah so if this is your first time here we'd love for you to hang out with us follow us in our travels get to know us a little bit and that means you need to hit that subscribe button it would also be cool if you like the video and we'll see you again next time bye guys see ya bye ozzy say bye hello no that's as much as he can say. He's really not that talkative. <laughs> if this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you hang out with us, stay up to do that, but it's travels. Just a mm -hmm. You can do it. All right.